What is up guys, IDG here, we're going to be doing another Sir video, week number 11. Sorry this video is going to be a bit late on uploading, I had a lot of stuff to do today and my internet wasn't working correct, so it's going to be a bit late. So, Titans, you get the Helm of the Most Light with increased strength, increased intellect, inverse shadow, heavy lifting, and infusion. The exotic perk, Recklessness, gives you Death from Above and Headstrong for your Fist of Havoc. It's a situational exotic, and you have to get used to it. There are better Fist of Havoc exotics, like the Eternal Warrior, now that it's back, and the Armamentarium. But this one's okay, and it looks really cool. So... Kind of up to you. PvP wise, it's okay. Once again, situational and you have to get used to it. PvE, there's no reason why you would use this. Hunters, you're getting the lucky raspberries. Raspberry. Not multiple, just one. Unless you buy multiple. With increased intellect, increased discipline, hand cannon ammo. Fusion Rifle Ammo, Void Recovery, and Arc Armor. The exotic perk, make your luck, your arc bolts chain farther, and you spawn with full grenade energy. This is a very popular exotic in your one, and I never really used it myself. I was more of a Crest, of crest or an Accolifade Symbiote. Wasn't really a Blade Dancer. But never really use this exotic. And I guess for PvP it's good. For PvE, I'm not sure. I I haven't used it, but by reading it for PvE it's not great. For PvP it's it's good. Not sure on that though. Warlocks, you are getting the Purifier Robes with increased strength, increased intellect, special ammo, heavy ammo, void burn defense, soul armor, with the exotic perk, Burn Brighter. When you activate your Radiance, your self res, it blinds anyone near you. I've been waiting for these exotics to come back for a long time. These were my favorite war... Warlock exotics beside the only thing that came close to it was the obsidian mind But this was my exotic to use for trials whenever I did do trials on my warlock and I just really love these and I've been waiting for them to come back so I'm glad that they brought them back for PvP. They're really good if they're close to you on trials they're not they're not going to be doing anything really for the pve or really any other pvp game mode other than elimination and skirmish and salvage they're not that great they're pretty useless the exotic weapon he's selling is the Monte Carlo with CQB ballistics, smart drift control, and aggressive ballistics with hip fire as its first perk. Second row of perks is high caliber rounds, send it, and field scout with its last perk being, or its exotic perk being the Monte Carlo method. Anytime you deal damage with this weapon, it'll reduce your melee cooldown, and every time you kill someone you have a chance of getting your melee fully charged for hunters really good to have if you're doing something like smokes for warlocks something really good to have for titans it's not that great really unless you're doing a melee build then this can really help you. 
But for any melee style build that you want to do for fun, this is a great thing to pair it up with. And plus it feels really nice. And it's got a really cool blade on the front of it. The Legacy Engram of the Week is a Body Armor Engram. So, if you guys want to try to get another chest piece from your one to get that's in your two, you can buy Legacy Engram and then use your Legendary Marks to bring it into your two. Just remember, it's going to be year one versions. Just remember that. So, that's week number 11 of Xur, and I'd say that's week number 11 complete.